Abundance, abundance, abundance. In the beginning was the word. The words we think about is accompanied by an emotion. It is the emotions in the words we think about as we breathe in that forms our awareness. Focus emotions into the eyes in meditation to enter the subconscious. Focus emotions on the eyes as you fall asleep to enter into the subconscious mind. Breathe in positive emotions to purify the subconscious mind. Words and positive statements focus our emotions, our power, and what we attract into our awareness. Our emotions creates our awareness. As we breathe in positive words, statement, or affirmations into ourself, we attract them as true for ourself. Words are designed to open and expand our awareness. Positive emotions can align us with our soul's wisdom and attune us with the unlimited abundance of the universe. As we consume positive words, we create positive. Abundance circumstances is attracted to our emotions. Most affirmations start with, I. I, refer to our subconscious, also called our higher self, our soul, and the part of us that is connected to God. God's universal consciousness is a deeper part of our mind. Affirmations are more powerful when our imagination is aligned and working together for a common goal. There is great power in repeating words or thoughts of what we want over and over. We get everything we want by consuming those emotions. Repetition implants the imagination with what we want to create in our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind goes about bringing to us what we feel. Be filled first with the emotions of a desire. Affirmations are positive thoughts that are repeated over and over. As we repeat them, the feelings goes deeply into our subconscious where they begin to manifest as our awareness. Affirm abundance, love, wealth, riches, and good fortunes in present tense we expand our thinking and our imagination by purifying our emotions. Fill your imagination with moonlight and starlight. Starlight is the river of life from the Holy Spirit. Our subconscious mind is activated by the Holy Spirit's light. Our subconscious mind is our closest link to our soul. It is not bound by past programs, beliefs, and fears. The imagination was given to us so we could transcend our world. It gives us the ability to step outside of our physical reality and unleash great potentials. Our imagination can travel through the subconscious into any dimension or world. It can create unlimited future pathways for us and help us look at all possible outcomes and various choices. We use our imagination in daydreams and fantasizes. Think with endless possibilities. Rather than thinking of just one thing we could have to satisfy ourselves, think of many things. Instead of imagining only one desirable outcome, ask ourselves, what is the best possible outcome that can occur for everyone? Imagine the best possible outcome. Push yourself to imagine even better ones. Every time you find yourself imagining something, see if you can expand or fine-tune the picture. Think big. Ask for more than you think you can have. Expand your imagination, enlarge your pictures, and play with new ideas. See if you can go beyond the boundaries you have set you can attract money or anything wanted. Close your eyes and daydream. Center emotions in your imagination. Picture abundance for yourself and others. Picture yourself having everything you want, a satisfying job, money in the bank. How it feel? Be a benefit to those around you. 
Imagine what it feels like if everyone had money. Challenge yourself ask for even more. Not just for yourself, but for all of mankind. There is abundance in the universe for everyone. Connect your abundance with thoughts. Of abundance for everyone else. As you enlarge your thinking to include other, you will open up even more ways for abundance to come to you. Unlimited thinking is more than thinking big, it is thinking creatively. Breathe in the emotions. Imagine having the emotions in it to attract it. Be open to pleasant surprises from your higher self. Your higher self may bring you what you want in a bigger and better way than you thought possible. Trust that you will receive whatever is perfect for you to have. The emotions behind our thoughts determine the speed at which we manifest. Generate excitement about having what you want. Feel the feelings. Think of its frequency, its emotions. Be detached, let it come in whatever way. To manifest what you want just feel it. Our intentions to have something is in the emotions we hold. The emotions directs our energy and focus it on our goals. We create what we hold steady in our emotions. It is the source of the attraction. Emotions are like laser beams that go out and get what we want. Relax, focus, and visualize with emotions. Visualize, imagine and breathe in the emotions in what you want. The more we feel it, the easier we can attract it. The emotions is our most powerful energy creating tool. When using our emotions there are no rules other than being as inventive as we can. We use our ability to emotionalize all the time. We make pictures in our mind prior to creating anything. As we pretend that we already have something, we begin to harmonize with it, bring in the feeling of having it into your present reality. The feelings draws it to us. Feel it, have a sense of it. Make mental pictures of varying degrees of clarity and color. Focusing is holding an emotion or picture steadily. Concentrating on what you want by focusing steadily on it for several minutes at a time increases the speed at which you draw it to yourself. Relax, focus, and visualize. Work with emotional energy to magnetize. Feel calm and relaxed. Savor and enjoy a state of calmness and peace. View the world around you from this brighter, clearer perspective. Feel calmer, more relaxed, and balanced to achieve this state of realization to magnetize. The calmer and more relaxed we are, the more focused we are. The more emotions, the better the results will be. To magnetize what you want feel relaxed and centered, work with relaxation or meditations until you feel relaxed. Keep practicing until you can experience a feel of what you want. Focus on the feelings of what you want. Play with emotions. The body, mind, and spirit are intimately related as they are all unique aspects of the same source of energy. Relaxation is emotional balance which leads to clarity of the mind. Emotions leads to spiritual insight or awareness. Spiritual awareness is in the flow of energy. Close your eyes and start breathing. Breathe in with your nose. Use your diaphragm to breathe. Most people use their upper body to pump the air in and out, but the correct way to breathe is to use our diaphragm, that big muscle in front of your stomach. Breathe without moving your upper body, and breathe gently. As you breathe, focus the emotion into your imagination the small area between your eyebrows. 
You can place a hand on it to feel it more intensely. Focus on that small point. Energy follows thoughts. By focusing into our imagination, we direct life force into that area. Visualize energy moving into your imagination to charge it, to cleanse and heal it, with each breath in. Practice this throughout the day. If you get distracted, return to focus. Thoughts have a tendency to return when they are chased, so just relax. Breathe in the emotions in positive words and images. The only thing that concerns you is an image or thought that triggers a positive response. Focus on a word or memory that triggers positive emotions. Focus on directing energy towards the imagination, along with steady and gentle. Growth. Intuition is an energy increase inside the imagination. Focus on directing energy to and from your imagination. In your abdomen, there's an energy center called a tantian. The emotions in what you imagine as you breathe in comes here into the gut which cause the attraction into your life. Place both hands on this area and focus on it. Just keep this intention in mind. Next, ground yourself. Visualize energetic roots going from your feet into the ground and intend all unwanted, dirty energy to leave your body into the ground. Continue this process. Grounding is yet another technique that you need to keep in mind. Continue this exercise or any other exercise that helps you open your third eye, finishing with centering and grounding, to proceed into intuitive work. Spiritual energy also spelled chi. Ki, or Kai means, life force. It can also mean, breath, and, air, and by extension it also means, vitality. Hence, the term spiritual energy may be translated as, breathing exercise, as well as, energy work. Putting the words together and thinking about the practice of spiritual energy exercise, the name signifies an expertise at working with life force energy. Becoming an expert at working with our own emotional energy gives us the resources to manifest the kind of day and the kind of life that we want to have. What is energy? Vapor or mist is energy. Despite being somewhat beyond the senses, this energy nourishes our bodies and minds. The subtle skill of breath control is one of the keys to circulating the flow of energy in the body. Energy is the basis of all traditional energy healing arts, from acupuncture to herbal medicine. It is the breath of life, animating every function of our body and mind. When we are healthy, our energy flows smoothly through every part of us. Energy gives our blood the energy to flow and nourish all our cells. It powers our immune system, our digestion, and our nervous system. Energy is the power behind intuition, our mental energy, our ability to think clearly, our reason, our willpower, and our decision-making ability. We are born with energy. It is the inherited life force energy derived from the egg and sperm of our mother and father. This energy is our prenatal energy or original energy. It is stored in the lower abdomen around the navel, kidneys, and sexual organs. This area is known as the lower tan tian, the elixir field. Like a battery, it is the basis of our constitutional strength. If our battery has a strong charge and can easily recharge after a slight drain, then we are preserving our original energy and will enjoy good health. 
We process and absorb energy into the imagination from many sources, particularly from the air, the sun and moon, the earth, the stars, the planets, and directly from nature. All of these sources of energy provide us with postnatal energy, which combines with our original energy to form the energy of the organs and the energy channels. Each individual being is an interconnected and inseparable whole of body, mind, and spirit, unified, in part, by the flow of energy. Energy is the life force that powers the body. Energy is the power source that enables our eyes to see, mouth to taste, muscles to move, organs to function, and our mind to think. Energy is the human equivalent of the electricity. Spiritual energy is based on the premise that the human body is an energy system. As long as it has energy it is alive, when energy is gone, it is dead. A living cell has an electric charge and the differences in electric potential allow nutrients to flow into and out of the cell. Messages and information pass through the nerve cells via electrical impulses. The life force energy that moves through the heart, spreading circulation to the entire body, comes from a bioelectrical energy field from the universe. Life force energy. Energy is the invisible, immaterial substance that propagates life and animates our bodies with movement. It gives birth to our thoughts, emotions, and consciousness. Energy describes and infuses both the infinite space of the universe and the infinitesimal space of the smallest particles. It is the spiral dance of the planets, the magnetism between the electron and proton, and the attraction between male and female. Energy is in the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the emotions we feel. It is the force that allows the planets, stars, and galaxies to work in perfect harmony. Mountains arising, forests growing, rivers flowing, and all of life's proliferations are expressions of this life force energy. Energy is that elusive substance we are all seeking. The forces that regulate nature and the cosmos are the same forces that regulate our bodies and minds. While we recognize and deal with two circulatory networks in the human body, the nerves and the blood vessels, spiritual energy includes a third system, the energy network of the meridians. These are the pathways through which life force energy flows in the body and on which the acupuncture points are located. Collectively, the meridians in an invisible but highly functional network of channels that forms a complex grid throughout the human body. This grid serves as a sort of master template for both the circulatory and nervous systems and for all the other vital organs and their functions. Meridians are translated as Jing and are categorized in relation to the 12 vital organs in medicine. Flowing through the body and brain like large rivers and small tributaries, these meridians create an intricate web of smaller vessels which transmit energy to every tissue and cell of the body. Located Along the Jing Wu or meridian lines are points along the channel that are terminals known as Shui, or vital points. These serve as relay stations through which energies along the related channels may be amplified or pacified by means of the imagination, acupuncture, moxibustion, acupressure, or a massage. Think of the meridian system like Rivers of energy moving through and nourishing all aspects of the body. Energy can become blocked or stagnant, like a boulder in a river. This usually occurs from stress, 
repetitive motion, pollution, injury, or negative emotions. Keeping the energy flowing within our bodies is the key to optimal health and wellness. Energy commands blood. Where energy goes, blood follows, which means that the decisive factor in the circulation of blood to the organs and tissues is the free flow of energy to those areas via the network of energy channels and points. The points are like whirlpools within a river which can affect the entire flow of the body as they are consciously redirected. The nervous system responds so well to spiritual energy and acupuncture treatment because these methods stimulate the flow of energy through the meridians, which in turn balances the nervous system and permits the nerves to function properly. Cultivation refers to the methods that draw energy from external sources into the system through vital energy gates on the body the points most often used for this purpose are the points on the soles of the feet the points on the palms of the hands the point on the crown of the head the point at the perineum and the point at the heart Cultivating energy with requires one-pointed mental focus on the energy gates selected for practice. The visualization of energy is light flowing through the points, and the intention to draw energy in through the gates. Energy usually enters the system on the inhalation phase of the breath and circulates or spirals at these centers on the exhalation. Practicing energy exchange on the beach or high up in the mountains quickly recharges the whole system with the pure, potent energy generated by oceans and mountains. Practicing in a forest allows one to exchange energy with trees, which produce very powerful energies. The human body is considered to be a network of energy and information that mirrors the energy network of the whole universe. As above, so below, is an ancient maxim that describes this concept. In this way of thinking, the human body is a microcosmic replica of the macrocosmic universe at large, complete with its own, heaven, and earth, its internal emotional, weather, and organ, ecosystems, its, rivers, of blood and, mountains, of flesh, its mineral, ores, of bone and its saline, oceans, of cellular fluids. Spiritual energy helps the microcosmic human body to recharge and renew itself by plugging into the macrocosmic energy of the universe. Each cell, tissue, organ, and other part of the body emanates its own specific electromagnetic field, which pulsates at its own particular frequency and regulates its own. Internal energy currents while the entire body itself radiates an auric energy field that extends about one meter around the surface. Spiritual energy enhances compassionate, virtuous energy to support a life of love and kindness. It is usually practiced in meditation, with the practitioner sitting still and using the mind to move and circulate internal energy. This is a process of internal alchemy, whereby energy is transformed into a higher and more refined vibration. In this practice, draw energy from the universe into the body. This cultivates a sense of unity with nature, with the Tao, and with each other. The microcosmic orbit is a spiritual spiritual energy practice that opens the body and meridian pathways, govern and functional channels, to cultivate higher frequencies of energy. By bringing energy through these particular channels, we distills energy from the lower centers to the higher centers, 
expanding consciousness and spiritual awareness. It's difficult to discern, sometimes, a single category for a specific spiritual energy. Exercise. For example, the microcosmic orbit could be used for medical and health purposes as well as for spiritual purposes. As energy opens in the body, it's natural for physical vitality to increase along with spiritual insight. Balancing the body and the mind. In spiritual energy, balance of the body is through relaxation. To relax, the practitioner performs a series of stretch and loosening exercises that eliminate tension from the muscles, joints, and tissues. Total relaxation of the body maintains proper posture, freely circulating blood and energy, breathing correctly, and establishing a stable sense of mental quietude. Conversely, any tension in the muscles and tendons, or tightness in the joints, tends to throw the body off balance, obstruct circulation, inhibit deep abdominal breathing, and distract the mind. With practice, as the body becomes progressively more relaxed, the autonomic nervous system switches over to the calming, restorative, parasympathetic branch, which balances the endocrine system and activates the body's internal healing mechanisms. Balancing the mind is one of the most challenging aspects of spiritual practice. And meditation. Spiritual energy seduces the mind into stillness with its slow rhythmic movements and circulation of energy. As the energy or frequency in the body increases, so too does the one-pointed awareness in the mind. Our intention, ye, is the power of your mind to circulate energy, heal our body, and connect to the energies of the universe. Spiritual energy is based on the premise that the human body is an energy system. Its 50 trillion cells all require energy to maintain their function, and that energy needs to flow continuously and smoothly. Regular practice of spiritual energy exercises facilitates the smooth flow of energy throughout the human organism. To function in this healing mode, the cerebral cortex, where the constant chatter of the internal dialogue arises, must be stilled. Eeg studies show that in people practicing spiritual energy exercises, the cerebral cortex enters a state of calm and quiet that very few people experience even in sleep. We have all been told that most people only use 5 to 10 percent of their brains. What this really implies is that the average person uses only 5 to 10 percent of his or her 15 billion brain cells. No wonder that so many people's immune systems fail to respond appropriately to harmful stimuli. However, an Eeg study showed that spiritual energy activates the other 90% of the human brain. It suffuses even the deepest layers of the cerebrum with stimulating bioelectric currents. These currents activate long dormant function and cause measurable electrical excitation of the brain cells that previously showed no activity. So, in a sense, spiritual energy allows us to tap into more of his or her brain's potential. Maybe this explains how spiritual energy masters can accomplish amazing feats or connect to an unimaginable source of universal information. Numerous studies show that practicing spiritual energy exercises increases the level of essential neurotransmitters in the blood, brain, and cerebrospinal fluid, particularly norepinephrine, acetylcholine, serotonin, 
and dopamine. Blood tests show that spiritual energy can also increase the production of T cells in the thymus gland, another pillar of human immune response. 30 minutes of spiritual energy exercises shows an increase in red blood cell count, which enhances the bloodstream's capacity to carry and deliver oxygen to the cells and improves immune response. Spiritual energy masters have touted the power of laughter and smiling for thousands of years. They say it elicits a powerful healing energy within the body and transforms sick or old energy back into positive, healing energy. Respiratory system. Breathing can be both conscious and unconscious. Most of the time, we don't think about how we are breathing. Therefore, our breathing patterns are determined by various internal and external energy factors, such as thoughts and emotions, tension and stress, weather and environment. In this unconscious mode of breathing, energy is not regulated and balanced by breath. Instead, it takes on emotional patterns and becomes shallow as a busy and stressful lifestyle. Spiritual energy increases vitality through the lungs and respiratory system by relaxing the body, lowering the metabolic rate, and quieting the mind. High levels of stress also constrict the chest and muscles in the upper body, creating the tendency to breathe rapidly. Spiritual energy exercises decreases the average resting respiratory rate by emphasizing a more efficient and deeper way to breathe using the abdomen, diaphragm, and rib cage. This method of breathing is called Tan Tian breathing, energy belt breathing, or simply deep abdominal breathing. A study on deep breathing revealed that after 15 minutes of practice, the average volume of air taken into the lungs on inhalation rose from 482 milliliters before practice to 740 milliliters afterward, while the average number of breaths per minute dropped from 15 down to only 5. This represents a huge improvement in respiratory efficiency. These benefits are due to the important role that the diaphragm plays in breath control. Spiritual energy, which engages the diaphragm as a pump to regulate breath and circulation, strengthens this powerful muscle and restores its natural role in breathing, resulting in a cumulative improvement in respiratory efficiency the longer spiritual energy is practiced. For example, a recent study in energy exercises demonstrated that after only two months of daily practice, the average flex of the diaphragm, which is only about 1 inch 3 centimeters, in people who do not practice diaphragmatic breathing, rose to between 2.5 and 3.5 and inches, a 2-3 to three fold increase. Deep breathing as taught in spiritual energy, exercises is more important than ever before. 200 years ago, the air we breathed contained 38% oxygen and only 1% carbon dioxide. Today, due to factors such as deforestation, burning fossil fuels, and industrial pollution, the level of oxygen in the air has dropped by half to only 19%, while the carbon dioxide level has risen to 25%. Spiritual energy trains practitioners to become more efficient. Breathers, drawing in more oxygen with less effort. The deep breathing in the long, Rhythmic extensions of the limbs and torso performed in moving spiritual energy exercises also stimulate the movement of lymph throughout the body. Since lymph helps purify the blood and intercellular fluids,
Spiritual energy exercises promote detoxification of the entire body, right down to the individual cells. Digestive system. Spiritual energy is a fantastic way to support digestion, improving everything from weight loss to IBS, from constipation to ulcers. Spiritual energy brings healing energy to all the internal organs and helps to create balance and harmony throughout the digestive tract. Yawning and moving wind are common occurrences with spiritual energy. Exercises and meditations like the six healing sounds. People spend millions of dollars on digestive drugs to help ease indigestion or alleviate abdominal pain. This may be largely unnecessary, since doing just a little spiritual energy exercises can clear up most of these problems in minutes. You will find that as you practice spiritual energy, exercises your body will naturally detoxify and clear your pathogenic or evil energy. There are many ways that spiritual energy practice improves digestion. Abdominal. Breathing, for one, massages the internal organs and brings more circulation to the lower abdomen. As the diaphragm descends on inhalation, it squeezes the stale blood, bile, and other stagnant fluids from the liver and other organs, and when the pressure is released on exhalation as the diaphragm ascends, fresh. Blood rushes into the organs and replenishes them with oxygen and nutrients. During this process, the muscles involved in peristalsis are also stimulated. In addition, spiritual energy stimulates the salivary glands and gastric enzymes. Just 15 minutes of practice has been shown to produce a major elevation in the secretion of pepsin, one of the most important digestive enzymes in saliva. In fact, swallow saliva. Because digestion starts in the mouth, increased production of saliva helps break down the food before it even gets to the gut. This way the organs have less work to do and are able to pull more nutrients out of your food. What's important to remember is that eating is for energy. The better your digestion the more energy you will get from your meals. Many digestive problems have a strong psychological component. Stress or other emotional issues can cause bloating, constipation, or loose bowels. Because spiritual energy effectively reduces stress and helps your body to manage its stresses differently, it helps to protect the digestive system from stress-related problems. Acid indigestion has become such a common condition. Among the most important preventive health care benefits of spiritual energy is the way it immediately balances the pH level of the blood digestive juices, and other bodily fluids. Balanced pH is one of the most important aspects of yin, yang balance in human health. Breath, the bridge between your mind and body the benefits of working with the breath are profound. The way you breathe directly influences the quality of your life. In fact, the way you breathe might be the most important factor in how you feel. When someone is feeling good, the breath is calm, deep, and even. The amazing thing about breathing exercises is that the relationship also works in the reverse. By changing the way you breathe, you can also change the way you feel. If you breathe deeply, down into the abdomen, this sends a message to the body to transform negative emotions into positive ones. Deep breathing moves energy and clears stagnant energy. It is almost impossible to breathe deeply and feel negative emotions at the 
same time. Spiritual energy recognizes this connection between the body and the emotions and prompts us to change the body, our posture and breathing, in order to transform our mental emotional states. Some years ago, there was a great study done on depression. One group took antidepressant drugs, the other group simply had to look up smile, and breathe deeply periodically throughout the day. Surprisingly, the group that worked on their posture while incorporating the deep breathing had even better results than the group on drugs. The way we hold our body powerfully affects how we feel. If you want to feel better, breathe more deeply and smile more. Remember that breathing is a reflection of thought and emotion, the bridge between the mind and the body. Breath unleashes the vital energies of life. Inhale fully to be inspired and take in more of life. Exhale completely to get rid of what is old and no longer useful. This process refreshes the system in every moment, clearing out stagnant emotions and thoughts and taking in the new possibilities with each breath. If we cannot inhale completely, we cut ourselves off from new experiences, adventure, and creativity. If we cannot exhale completely, we hold on to the past and are weighed down by old emotional hurts and wounds. To breathe is to be alive. To breathe more deeply is to delve into life more fully. Think of your breath as vitamin O, oxygen being the most important nutrient that you take into your body. Oxygen is our most essential food, the fuel that ignites the essential bodily processes, everything from digestion and assimilation to hormone secretion and numerous brain functions. Deep breathing. Where deep breathing enlivens and revitalizes every cell and tissue in the body, chronic shallow breathing drains our energy and allows stress to take root. It under-oxygenates the blood, the organs, the muscles, the glands, and all the cells in the body. It overworks the heart suffocates the brain 15 to 20 percent of our oxygen goes to the brain weakens the immune system and leads to disease and premature aging under oxygenation also leaves toxins in the blood that are then recirculated through the body many catastrophic illnesses have their roots in chronic under oxygenation caused by chronic shallow breathing in fact, medical researchers believe a lack of oxygen in the system is the prime cause of 1.5 million heart attacks each year. Dr. Otto Warburg, winner of two Nobel Prizes for Cancer Research, explains that cancer has only one prime cause, which is the replacement of normal oxygen. Restoration for the body's cells by oxygen deficient respiration. Deep breathing increases oxygen to the cells, which is one of the most important factors in living a disease-free and energetic life. He goes on to say, where cells get enough oxygen, cancer will not, cannot, occur. The benefits of deep breathing energizes the entire system. Provides cells with sufficient oxygen for optimal functioning clears stress and tension from the muscles supports the lymphatic system for cleansing the blood detoxifies the blood massages the internal organs for better functioning increases our lung capacity for more energy calms the mind facilitates communication between the conscious and subconscious mind acts as a bridge between the mind, body, and spirit for balance harmony, and spiritual growth promotes health and healing increases communication between the left and right hemispheres of the brain. 
by stimulating both sides at the same time. Helps to harmonize the nervous system and reduce stress increases our fundamental vitality deepens meditation expands consciousness. Mouth breathing versus nose breathing. In spiritual energy, there is a saying that, the mouth is for eating, the nose, for breathing. This seems fairly intuitive. Yet the majority of us are sucking air in through our mouths much of the time. Energetically, we are not making use of the amazing health features of the nose, which is the body's primary defense against germs, impurities, dust, and bacteria. The nose has bacilli fighting glands, mucous membrane passages, and thousands of filtering hairs to keep outside impurities from entering the lungs, the bloodstream, and the body. The mouth has none of these protective features, and allows a virtually undefended passage directly into the lungs. When we breathe through the mouth, there is a tendency to fill up the chest only. When you inhale through the nose, on the other hand, your breath naturally penetrates the body more deeply. Try taking a deep breath through your mouth and notice where you feel the expansion. Now, take a slow deep breath through your nose. Did you notice how your breath is drawn more deeply into your body, expanding into your lower abdomen? Breathing through the nose uses the diaphragm, which is the most natural, healthy way to breathe. Watch the way babies breathe. Their abdomens and rib cages naturally expand and contract. The proper functioning of every cell in our body depends upon the quality of our breathing. Breathing is the dance of life, uniting all living things in a necessary symbiotic life support system. We live on. The exhaled oxygen of plants and plants live on our exhaled carbon dioxide. Every breath reveals interdependence with the environment. We live in an ocean of energy from which life offers each of us a full portion of vitality. Why decline this abundance of life force through shallow breathing? Why breathe just enough to get by, when you can breathe deeply enough to truly thrive? Though the lungs have a total air capacity of about 5,000 milliliters, the average breath is only about 500 milliliters. With the proper breathing techniques, we can learn to increase our breathing capacity, taking in twice the amount of energy per breath. Magic breathing, the wave technique. Think of the tide of the ocean lapping up onto the shore. The water rolls in, pauses, then returns to the ocean. Between the incoming and outgoing tide there is a lull, a stillness before movement. This is how we should breathe, mirroring the movement of the tide. As you will soon experience, the movement of the breath can flow through the entire torso like a wave in the ocean. It starts in the lower abdomen, then rises up through the ribs, and crests in the chest. Upon exhalation, the wave of movement descends, from the chest, through the ribs, and down into the abdomen. Try it for yourself. Find a comfortable position, either sitting up with a straight spine or lying face up on a comfortable surface. Sitting is preferable and keeps you more alert, but lying down works well too. Bring your right hand over your navel and place your left hand on your sternum at the center of your chest. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your lower abdomen expand first. As you continue to inhale, let the breath rise up through your ribs. Keep inhaling until the breath reaches your chest, beneath your left hand. 
Exhale out through your nose. Feel your breath relaxing and your chest descending. Allow the breath to exhale outward through your ribs. At the end of the exhalation, allow your abdomen to move back toward the spine as you squeeze the breath all the way out. A pause in the breath is like the lull of the tide and creates balance in the mind and energy in the body. Allow the breath to pause for one or two seconds at the top of each inhalation, and again at the bottom of each exhalation. Continue taking these full deep breaths for at least seven breaths. You will start to feel the benefits almost immediately. If you can do this exercise for seven minutes, it's even better. Warming up the body. The term warm up means to begin the energy and blood flow and invigorate their circulation throughout the body. Warm up exercises are particularly important. For areas of the body that are rarely stretched, such as the spine and the sacrum. Even a person who does weight training and aerobics is still not properly prepared for the conduction of large amounts of energy without an adequate warm-up before exercise the muscles may be stiff and tight and lack sufficient blood supply to meet the sudden demands placed on them by strenuous activity this is one major cause of athletic injury simple spiritual energy can be used as a warm-up for many other Taoist activities such as Thai energy meditation but it can also be seen as a warm-up to your everyday life. It will help you meet the day with more energy or clear stress at the end of the day. Done on its own, simple spiritual energy can effectively create healthy energy flow in the body, which benefits all aspects of life. 